already know that it's evident You're rocking with ease, God, enough of element Probably should run for president The black wolf walk in the woods, feel like the revenant I had to embellish it, MC on the beat Like OT from the D Just pass me the rock, I'ma pull it up from the three I see strange things like 11 And when I'm on the mic, I get them hype like DJ7 Or DJ Slim in Hollywood like I'm bug They know I'm the one, man, the knowledge come from the dreads This x ray song, peace, love, and unity You gotta give it your best And you say that you got them bars so we gon' give him a test, okay? One, two, three, four, five. You ain't say it right, please say it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Yo, what up, though, man? This is Chris Bellamy, Hip Hop. We represent Hip Hop in this truest form. That's peace, love, unity, and ever fun. And right now, man, we got the one and only. Legendary Kelly Gates sitting up there with us. He just rocked the house in the house of blue. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Got on stage. Yeah. And I'm like, man, we here to ask him a couple questions. Sit down with us and then and, and talk that talk. Yeah, yeah. So Kelly Gates, man, I'm like, it's been a long time since we've seen an artist do what you just did on that stage right there. I'm like, yo, you really were? Yeah. That's great up. I'm like, I, I'm not giving you no what? gas. I got a question. Mm. What did I do that was so different? Brought out a crowd like that was insane, just like most Very of the Very diverse. Every girl that I talked to about this show was like, yo, we got to go see Kevin Gates. So I'm like, that's just one. I'm, I'm like, yeah, love. that was that's love. Yo, I'll praise you to God. That's right. love. Right. And people it, don't have to like me. They don't. You know, they like, don't. if you think about it, it's favorite opinion. So people don't have to like me. But because people do like me, I'm grateful. That's God. Well, I'm like, you definitely got to, we don't get that often out here. You know, us being in Vegas and actually on a regular, we actually see I could the be honest with crowds. you. They, they go crazy. I could be honest with you. Go ahead. I love it, though. <laughs> like, okay. when you think about, because you got to think, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't uh -huh. gamble. So when you think Vegas, you think casino. You really come here like, you know, they got some cool shit. Like, they got some nice little fitness yeah. centers that stay open. They got, yeah. like, they got a super big fitness community here that they yeah. 24 hours a day. Absolutely. Like, yeah. they got some cool shit. We actually have a, a culture of people out here that, that like, yeah. flipping it, and we're we're trying to and get ourselves uh, put on the map. As you're not people. trying. You're doing it. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. we are doing it. And we're trying. actually... You're doing it. We're we're giving people a different side, a different view of Vegas, and I'm glad that you could actually see it and feel that energy when you came out here. It's just a pleasure to have you sitting up here. Man, we gotta do it. So on our fifth element thing, we gotta we gotta stop OT from talking sometimes. Yeah, because I go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, man, I want to say I, I appreciate you even sitting down with us, giving us this interview. Um, um, health situations in the past, right? But um. I got better. And then in that time of me getting better, I'm watching your videos. I'm watching, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes. I'm seeing you pumping, put, doing your push up. I was on that same regimen, that same regimen, boom. And I was telling them, I was like, man, y'all don't know what Kevin Gates did to me. Musically, you know what I'm saying? That shit put me in a, in a whole nother state of mind. So just sitting down with you now, and then shout out to Alvina for, for plugging this. Man, it, it just means a lot to me, bro. So yeah. appreciate you. And, and, man, thank man, you. That's a hundred right there. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Need somebody to carry. Man, hey, <laughs> hey, listen, listen. Look, you you didn't do the song on the thing, but let me see. My children play with a pack. Of I was strong. Mm -hmm. yeah, shout out to my little dude. Yeah, man. Yeah. You don't even understand how hard I was going in the gym. <laughs> but, but yeah. That's like my harder songs. I do that so I can work out to them. And it's so, it's crazy that you, like, that you like that kind of stuff because, like, whenever I'm on live, they be like, release this, release that. I'm like, listen, I be making some music just for me to work out to. Definitely. Like, I don't be knowing. Like, I, I do this, like, I go in the studio and just vent because it's therapeutic for me still to this day to make music. But a lot of stuff, I be needing something to just work out to. That extra. Right. Like, I got this song that I never released that, um, that pain and suffering experience in my whole life. 
I used to pray to God, but he probably won't reply. Could you send someone to me if you don't mind? Stay by my side and stick it out for the long ride. Have you ever needed somebody? Tired of being broken, wanted to be somebody. My heart too genuine and make it difficult to truck. Victim of this cold world and it get difficult to truck. I got and it, but it got a, a hard oh, beat to right. it and it make me do that extra sit. Mm -hmm. And I'm really talking to myself on that. I'm like my grandmother put her arms around me, told me to be more careful. You know, just could you do me a little favor if you listening to this message? Don't you ever let nobody tell you ain't no blessing. Don't you ever let nobody tell you ain't special. Don't you ever let nobody tell you ain't special. I say, don't you ever let nobody tell you ain't special. And it's just like, it motivate me. Right. Because it's like, I'm speaking of myself. But I be, it's, it's crazy how the shit I be speaking of myself, everybody around you, we all be relatively going through the same thing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, and it's unreleased, but I sing it all the time in the gym. And the, a lot of the people at the gym that I go to at Flex, they be like, "Man, when you gonna drop that song, right. bro?" That's right. I'm about to say, I'm about to shoot y'all my email. But that make me feel good. Like, right. I could go to the gym by myself and work out and sing my music loud, pray, just get my recalibrate myself and get myself together, and just be, get in tune with myself and feel good. It like I just that's my therapy now. I like to feel good. No, no. Okay. So with you uh, going into, like, I want to say, like, almost like a uh, spiritual fitness, like, because I don't like, it's still ongoing. I, I can see, like, you, you're still going through it, and you're still, like, elevating. You're just scratching the surface. You know, I know, I know it's like, I know it's deep, but I want to know, like, how did it, um, how did it affect the, your approach? at doing music when you started uh, this journey? Well, I can't lie, I gotta be honest. Don't judge. I'm a fan of the Eminem that was on drugs. Man, you gotta go back to the old Brassy. I could understand that. I'm a fan of the Eminem that was on drugs. Right. The sober Eminem, I love you. We said that about Mary J. Blige too. But the one on drugs, <laughs> I ain't never I used that's new. I ain't never know the queen. No, because you, you know, know the, 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 we say about like that Mary J. Blige that was that was going through the pain of the my life and the be happy and all of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, that made that you, she was singing a lot of pain in that. But day. me, I can't speak <laughs> intelligently <laughs> on it because I don't know nothing about that. Not, yeah, but I'm a fan of the Eminem that was on drugs. So when people tell me, man, you gotta go back to the old way when you used to be, you know, and I'm like. I never go back to that. So you can go be listening to the old. Your presentation, your introduction is everything. So it's a lot of people that stayed in tune with me. And it's a lot of people that wasn't. They stayed, they didn't grow with me. They stayed where they was at. And I could understand that. Like even when I go back in my section in my old neighborhood and I see people that didn't, you know, continue the journey. I could understand that you hold on to that little bit of relativity that you had. Because that's how I first met you. So to watch you grow and me not grow with you, kind of, right? It's kind of difficult, mm -hmm. and I understand that. And my heart go out to you, and I love you so much. But I'm going this way. So let me ask you a question. You said your old section when you was in Triple A's, when Vic had Triple A's popping. Right, shout out to Vic, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wings, man. Could, could you see what Perfect Ten do my shit? Could fuck <laughs> any whore in Baton Rouge if they get to admit. Yeah, I had that in the clap for you. Dagger, me and Vic. <laughs> Perfect 10, do my shit. Could fuck any whore in Baton Rouge if they can't take me. Could you, could you see yourself? I am so, so, not sorry. <laughs> could you see what's going on now, back then? Could you see Kevin Gates now, back then? You see all this happening? No, sir. No, if you would have asked me back then about me right now, I'd have been like, that shit pussy. But somebody did always tell me, you're going to be a great motivational speaker. I ain't about to do that old bitch ass shit. Bitch, I'm going to be getting them. I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be out of my mind retarded. Bread <laughs> swinging, you know, Blackberry, you know. It took, it, it, I just knew I wasn't going to never cut my shit. I was going to have my shit down on my ankles. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You know, my dread game was nasty. So, you know, like if you would have told me that I was going to be where I'm at right now, like, no, like, I would have thought this was pussy because my mind was underdeveloped. Mm. I was still immature. You know what I'm saying? But 
my daughter was the first one to ever tell me I was beautiful. She was like, you so beautiful, daddy. And she was a baby. And she told me that. And it, it started making me like, look at things different. Mm -hmm. Then when I left Louisiana, it just started making me, when I looked at the mentality of other people, other places, like every place I went, I got a little bit better. A little bit better. I ain't gonna say I just changed all that. It ain't happened overnight. This, this is a work in progress. I'm still, I ain't, I'm like, I'm just scratching the surface, big brother. Yeah, I feel you 100% on that. That's crazy. He said Triple A. Yeah. yeah. It's our research guy right here. You know what I mean? Like anything. He got that dude. He's going to dig it up. He's going to know some stuff. You're right. Uh, so I was like, I was thinking back to this show. Oh, yeah. Forgive me, bro. No, he, go ahead. <laughs> you see how he threw me? I almost felt like you was here before. Like like when um, in your face on a, on a billboard or a flyer out here before. When first show out here. That can't be right. Mm. I could have swore I've seen Kevin Gates out here before. I <laughs> did open up for B.O.B. Okay. But I, this is my first, like... Right. Uh, your, your show. And I could have swore that she was out here. So, so with this... You know uh -huh. I'm not trying to be a nerd, but you know I'm a nerd. Right. You know, you might have quantum jump. Right. 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 I'm like... Cause I could have swore I seen your your your, your so how my energy good. made everything go to glitchy. Right, yeah, right, 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 right. Skipping the right. room, where everything go to glitch. Energy. You seen that? How that shit went out? Yeah, I, and I, I did. just kept going. Then it, yeah, back in there. Yeah, right. 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 Like last last question before we get out of here. We do appreciate your time, brother. She got kids that are part of the show. Yes, sir. Part of the show. Uh, my brother sitting right next to you. His son was a part of the show. Yes, sir. And um, if you could say anything to them right now before we leave, you know what, what they mean? do? Uh, his son plays football. Yeah. Uh, what? what you? They, they, my youngest played football, but my oldest is a DJ. He got DJ of the year. This year. Man, I got kids that's uh, above the drinking age. I got children that's 21. My 19. He just turned 19 the other day. He's the only one with a lift five piece. You know? <laughs> I want five more. To be honest, with you. no, I don't yeah. know if I could do five. I'm being honest, like, like I, I want yeah. five more children. Five, like I could do one more, but not five. I want five more. I will if I get all girls because Isla, Isla changed my life. It's different though. I do have a baby girl. She changed my life. Different, very different. She changed my life. They do everything the boys do, mm. everything, and they loyal. Mine a girly girl. She don't. She don't want nothing to do with them. Nothing to do. She a girl, a girl too. She said, "Daddy, princesses don't take karate, daddy." <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pay you to take karate, and then she come and do the little moves on me, and I'm like, "I can't wait till you fuck with them hoes." You know. But but what the question is again? No, if I could tell them something, tell them something about their goals and their aspirations. You know what I'm saying about what they're doing, and and you know, just something positive for them to to look back on and be like, "Nah, Kevin left that message for me." Like, how you do anything is how you do everything. Like, I don't want to be fast. I want to take my time. Well, slow be for sure. It might have took me 20 years to get here, but, you know, I'm going to just say this. I'm going to say this on this podcast. September 6th is officially Kevin Gates Day in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's stamped. It's officially Kevin Gates Day. Like, you have a day. Do you know somebody that got a day? Oh, excuse me, my bad. I was just talking, I'm talking to you. But no, nah, how you do anything is how you do everything. And I think what some of my children patience and shout out to their mother is gardening. Teaching them how to plant seeds and gardening. It taught them patience. That's how life works. Life, anything fast don't last. Indeed. We don't want no microwave blessing. It won't happen. Right. If you think it's gonna happen, it's not. Ain't no get rich quick screen. I don't care how much of a guru you is. Hey, hey, you get out what you put in. Mm. You got to put an arm and a leg off in it every day. Right, that's facts. And you still ain't gonna see nothing. But once it grow and start bearing fruit, you gonna eat forever. But you got to start at one. We can get to a hundred. We can get to any number you want to get to, but we got to start at one. Be down said it. Before he died, he said we can get the end and number, but you got to start at one. Well, slow be for sure. There it is. 
one last question. We got to talk about the album real quick. The ceremony. What do you want people to take from that album? What do you want people to get from that album? Your fans. It's the blueprint. Okay. Me and greet me and how to show respect, eye contact. Only when you stand, he extend his hand, you extend your hand. Oh yeah. Even when so somebody just wanted to shake my hand. Oh, that other brother. I'm going. To, I know how to stand and greet a man whenever he walk in a room. For sure. I know how to stand and greet a man whenever he walk in the room. I don't care if you was never respected. I don't care if you wasn't respected in your household. But as a man, it make me feel good to respect you. I don't care if your household don't respect you. But yes, sir, you never heard nobody. Yes, sir. You never you never experienced their respect, but you're going to experience it from me. Because it make me feel good to respect a man. That's just me. And respectful. Everywhere I go. That's just... It make me feel good to be like it. I love it, man. It's, it's like your, your whole form of principles is in line with what we do with, at Fifth Element Hip Hop. Peace, love, unity, having fun. That's the basis of hip hop. And I love that because it's like you, you are embodying that right now. And I love that. It's the only way. Absolutely. We greet you in peace and leave in peace. Absolutely. Like, right I come as I leave. That's the, that's the, that's the great segue right there. Peace. Thank you all for watching Fifth Element Hip Hop. We're going to hit them with one, two, two three, three four. four. Yeah.